Hey Scorpio, this is Ascension Empress with your August general reading, y'all. We're going to see what messages we have. May peace and blessings be upon you all, and thank you for your support. Ooh, thank you for booking with me and being patient. What's going on? This nine of y'all, you know what? The nine of wands is starting to act like the, the knight of wands, and I'm not surprised because it seemed like it might be the same person. Um, a lot of... The spirit of envy, okay? The spirit of envy is, is out. It's out here. There's a lot going on. A lot of people, you know, trying to tap into, you know, what really inspires them. Starting from the ground up. Having to start over. People feeling some type of way that they've tried and tried and tried. Or they've, you know, maybe even worked at something longer. And here you are with this fresh, innocent energy. Inspired and motivated. We don't have time, Scorpio. We don't have time for the projections, okay? So I'm also getting, like, it doesn't matter how old you are is what I'm hearing. Don't let anybody's, you know, disbelief in themselves and what they got going on and what they didn't do in their life get in the way from, I'm hearing, the beginning of your journey, all right? Like, wow. Because if you handle it, yeah, if y'all, the oh, we... This person feels some type of way, but if you handed them the wand, they'd be burdened, right? Could they handle it? If you can't, if you looking like that when you in this nine of wands energy instead of just, you know, like, okay, one last stretch. Like, I'm going I'm to just pick myself up, learn this lesson. Because you can, you can really be in this nine of wands energy yourself, but you still have this energy about you. That's the difference. That's the difference, okay, spirit? What's going on? What do we have going into the past? Please take what resonates with you. We're getting right into it, I see. May peace and blessings be upon you all. Again, I appreciate y'all and y'all positive energy, okay? Look at that. I told you. I told you about that ten of wands if you handed it to them. But this is for you, okay? This is for you. This is your responsibility. Bigger blessings. The decision that you made with the two of swords, okay? I feel like the slow and steady, you took... You took your time. You took your time to get here. There may have been some time, your delay, like where you had to, you know, really sit and not worry about it. And something came in for you, an opportunity came in for you, an idea, a dream. Okay. And I feel like you made the decision. I'm going to push forward. Okay. And you pushing forward allow you to drop it in the meantime. And yeah, I see something. I see something definitely transitioning for you. All right, what do we have underlined? Oh, yep, see, finances, definitely. And I told you that. That energy in y'all y'all ancestor reading, like, there was just energy around uh, your abundance multiplying. All right, and here you have this two of pentacles. So, you know what? Somebody may be feeling some type of way because your creativity or something that there's an inspiration that is going to allow you to bring in another stream of income with the two of pentacles here all right what do we have overlaying the reading spirit look see and that y'all that wants to come out in reverse on top of here so this person may have felt like they never had the opportunity you're not you know giving them the opportunity but here you are boom with opportunities both favored because you are stepping into your power you are the one taking action all right now somebody else is over here in regret they resenting you they send in this negative energy that's not affecting you okay because of their rejection what they have not received is what i'm getting but that's the energy they putting out that's the energy they put now. Look, two of pentacles. Look, I said two of two, two, <laughs> They can't speak. That's going to be the issue. All right, I said two of pentacles, but here we go with the two of cups. So somebody could definitely be wanting to be a part of this connection, okay? A part of this contract, this money that may be coming in. Why is the two of cups here, spirit? Why is the two of cups here? All right, but also, again, I feel like you are... Stepping into the right connections. Look, two of wands, two of cups, higher vibration. Like, you're moving forward. You've worked for this. You were, again, I told you, you made sacrifices. You were humble. You weren't nine of wands with the energy. And I told you all that, okay? This person, nine of wands, seems like the knight of wands. Now, they also don't really have much genuine love to give is what I'm getting with the knight of cups, okay? Because they don't love themselves is what I'm hearing. Because if they did, they would have more of a childlike energy about all of the possibilities. And here you go with the knight of pentacles. You took your time. You went slow and steady. Look, will of fortune. Look, and this came out in reverse again. Somebody probably did. They didn't want to give or receive with you in the past. I feel like there was something you had to do on your own. And that's why this will of fortune is changing for you. Wow. 
new chapters okay so what advice do you have what advice do you have for my Scorpios when it comes to this Two of Wands energy? Because I definitely see y'all exploring the possibilities, knowing that you will be fruitful whatever way you go. Okay, look, see, star card. Wow. <laughs> so, the spirit is definitely emphasizing keep the lessons that you've learned in mind. Okay, keep the effort, the burdens that you used to have in mind. Don't be, you don't have a heavy heart now. Don't have any resentment, but I feel like it's going to allow you to really stay in this Page of Wands energy, really, you know, enjoy this fruit, enjoy the process, especially, okay, self-care is playing a huge role, all right, and then we have the Saturn energy, yeah, they said think big, think, oh, think big, big. All right, think bigger than what these haters may be thinking of you because they put a lot of times people who feel this type of way they're sending this negative negative energy they see they like they're getting a glimpse and they can only imagine and then you start to realize that your vision ain't even that big but that's the issue like y'all it's, it's so it's so interesting yeah five look five of pinnacles five of pinnacles I feel like y'all are able to steal in this moment even when you know things start to come in you're still able to maintain you know whatever sacrifice go without whatever you know be left out in the cold i just feel a detachment happening okay because i see a lot of y'all being independent a lot of y'all tapping into this lion energy and you know pouring into that 11th house energy and other people you know when you can so this could definitely be somebody who you used to people please and that's another thing y'all this is not the season this is not the season this is the season and the moon energy for it to be brought up to test you okay but spirit is wanting to see like are you going to <laughs> he gonna make it make sense okay are you gonna get distracted let's see spirit what do we need to know about the two of wands what do we need to know about the two of wands why yep see but high priestess going into the past and the way it just flipped out all right so i feel like your intuition led you in the past they you received insight again what maybe why y'all yeah y'all were in a state of solitude or separation you just had more time to yourself to reflect and it's here it's here any other messages any other message about two of wands yeah higher fine your beliefs have been changing and spirit is recognizing that so they're like hold on like we know okay so there's new commitments coming in i, I told you higher vibrating commitments coming in look nine of swords so some of y'all probably can't sleep and that could be this other person's energy because this is nine and nine y'all so this person is coming to a completion or they're sensing this while you're at a new beginning because yeah you are this fresh energy so they're somebody's all up in the head all right what other messages do you have when it comes to yeah queen of cups okay and this could definitely even be a feminine energy I'm getting someone you may you probably used to turn to for advice. Or some, yeah, I'm getting Taurus and Pisces. Look, y'all, yeah. And if you used to turn to them for advice, this could definitely be somebody in your family. But it's just like, now here you are. And that's the energy around. People don't want to see you doing better. Like, you've got, you went from the five to the nine. What's the resentment? What's the issue? Okay, because you look fulfilled. Like, you look like you're being humble. You look like you're still ready and willing and you know to expand wow some of y'all been settling y'all been sleeping on y'all selves y'all finally woke up and somebody else is mad yeah somebody else is mad now they can't sleep because you didn't woke up wow wow spirit what messages do we have what messages do we have see yeah yeah the detachments are happening these emotional connections that were maybe surface level um other people who aren't taking accountability and things that are just out of season is what I'm getting. It's just, you know, your harvest came in. Anything else is not, I'm getting it's not a part. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Y'all focus on bigger and better. All right. Wow. Uh, I don't know what else to say. Let's go ahead and pull a soul journey card. Spirit, what message do you have? What message do you have? See, adversity. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. How you handle it is a lot different than how other people have been handling it. And oh well if they mad. Okay? Because this is very beautiful energy. I just feel y'all y'all have taken a lot of accountability. And still 
to this day, if something was presented as a challenge, you would be willing to make the sacrifice and go without because you keep that in mind. Yeah, I said that in your last reading. Not forgetting where you came from, not forgetting the burden and what you bared in the past. And so you're like, okay, if it come again, I'm going to be in this energy and we just going to cop that 10th pinnacle. Okay, so again, those lessons learned. <laughs> no need to dwell or be confused. You know when to walk away now. It's easier to discern is what I'm getting. I accept the challenges. Look, y'all, I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Exactly. Exactly. And I feel like spirit is teaching you at this moment. Okay, they're definitely teaching you a lot. I'm so excited for you. Ooh-wee. Okay, y'all, that is your reading. Thank you again so much for all your love and your support. If you would like a personal, you can email me. My information is down below. Take care, you all. Bye.